please consider subscribing or joining as a member. Thanks and enjoy the video. Flash your demo, what can I say? When it works, it's good, but when it doesn't, well... In my opinion, Flashet is one of the most fun ammo types you can play, but also it can be very frustrating. For people that don't know, Flashet ammo is basically a normal shotgun with way tighter spread. So with tighter spread you get more range, plus it does bleeding. The biggest downside is that it can't really one-tap hunters if you are close, unless you hit a headshot with all your pellets in the shotgun, which happens very rarely. Looks good, right? Long 2 tap range, well it's a shotgun and that's bleeding, looks very powerful. But for example, but for example in this clip, if I had normal shotgun, I would probably kill the player in one shot. So if the enemy player had a shotgun and I had flash head, he would kill me and I wouldn't kill him. That's the issue with this shotgun. You cannot really play flash head at the shotgun range, so using the shotgun as a rifle kinda, or as a finisher with your uppercut or mozen, whatever, mozen obres. If you wanna use shotgun that's good at close range and medium range, well, there is slug ammo. It's basically flash head, but you are required to aim, because, you know, flash head is still tight spread. Slug ammo is still one shot. But I think if it's slug ammo, you can one tap people to body up to 15 meters. And you can two tap people up to 50 meters. And to headshot, you can two tap people up to 90 meters. So, this shotgun is super strong at close range and very strong at medium range. So, if you have money, just buy slug ammo. But there is actually a few things where flashet is better than slugs. And those scenarios are kinda funny. No, I didn't mean trading. First thing that I love on flashette is that you can jump shot, like with the buckshot shotgun. If you try it with slugs, the blood can go anywhere, but with flashette, the spread is still the same as if you stand. Other thing that I like on flashette is seeing people panic. When you hit them with flashette, they are bleeding and panicking. This results in a few deaths to AI. In my opinion, the best way or the correct way how to use flashet ammo is pair it with uppercut or mozenobres. Those two are very strong secondaries that do a lot of damage. And the trick is that you always wanna hit your enemy with uppercut or mozenobres or something that, that, that deals a lot of damage. And then you wanna finish them off with your flashet shotgun and basically any range, almost any range. This can result in very satisfying kills. Yes, you are getting nice and satisfying kills, feeling good, and then this happens, and you wish you had normal shotgun or a slugs. But probably the most satisfying kills with flashed are headshots.
So in these games, you saw me playing Rival or Spectre with Flashhead. It's because I think those two are probably the best. Well, there is the Terminus as well. But Terminus, it's okay. But the problem with leveling is that you are stuck in walking animation and you can't really move. And because Flashhead doesn't really have the fastest time to kill, you don't really wanna stand still for too long because then you are easy target. So that's why I prefer Spectre or Rival because you can move around and have better movement overall. In teams, if you play in a team, I think Terminus with levering is actually good because you can take multiple enemies, but you need the cover, you need the teammates. But if you play solo, well, I recommend Rival. Spectre is also fun because it's slightly a longer range than Rival, but the Rival to tap range makes the kill more reliable. Honestly, we have Crown King's luck. So why can't we have Crown and King with Flashhead? I think Crown with Flashhead would be actually the best shotgun for Flashhead and it would be so fun. It wouldn't be OP, because Crown and King is in the game, so Flashette wouldn't be stronger than that. But yeah, for now, well, I have to play with Rival, and usually my secondary is either Uppercut or Mosinobres. Why? Well, those two secondaries, they do a lot of damage. As you can see, Uppercut does 130, and Obres does 133. That's the highest damage you can get for your secondary weapon. I don't really recommend using the medium slot shotguns with Flashette. Yes, they can be fun maybe with sparks when you leave an enemy at 1 HP then you finish them with flashhead. But I think primarily flashhead is way better. So I'm gonna take uppercut and I'm gonna show you how to play this loadout in game. Here for normal shotgun it says 12 meters. Yeah, we know about that. For flashhead it actually says 9 meters. But how often does that happen? I think those 9 meters, if I remember correctly, all pellets need to be headshot to actually kill up to 9 meters, so that happens very rarely, in my opinion. Another thing that's super strong against Flashet ammo is the Bloodless Trade. The Bloodless Trade will make the bleeding only to the first level, the light bleeding. The thing is with slug ammo, yeah? Your range can be from 1 meter to 50 meters, I would say. That's the effective range. With Flashet, the effective range is usually from like... 20 to 50 meters because if you are too close you're gonna get killed by normal shotguns and if you are too far well you're not gonna do any damage or you're gonna get sniped oh it's actually that oh okay so yeah, in fights it's kind of hard to maintain this distance because especially with a shotgun you are being pushed to play at closer range but then you can't even one shot people reliably that's why i recommend tagging with uppercut and then finishing off with flashhead at long range. I'm just outside. And I missed. Missed the tag. Don't want to peek. That's bad. Okay, need to go down. That's a little bad fight for me because I cannot attack anyone with the shot. Oh, it's above. On the roof as well, I'm gonna send the cheer. They don't know I'm here though, so if I stay here for a while, he might go down, then I can take the shot. Like now. Need to wait for the metal gate to open. Oh, she's going on top of the hay bales, okay. Yeah, those guys play very safe. As you can see, it was 9 meters. If I had normal shotgun, he would maybe die. Okay, last match, I forgot to mention that if you, if you wanna play solo with flashhead, don't play flashhead. But if you really wanna play solo with flashhead, play against duos. Because against trios, 
With a shotgun that cannot even one shot most of the time. Yeah, it's not a good idea. So duos is way better. You can keep track of two people at the same time. Make one bleed, maybe fight the other one. Yeah, you can you can manage the fight easier. Ooh, boss is red. Can I finish the spider? Okay, nice. Oh, he's on top of the wood. Okay, let's try to, to tap him with flashhead. He might die to fall damage. Is he gonna die? No? Ah, he must be low HP though. Because this is very close to the two tap range of flashhead ammo. Maybe he had bloodless, so he didn't bleed that much. It's also a possibility. By the way, you don't need to ADS, I'm just ADSing to be more accurate because I knew he's on there. Okay, they are finally here. Let's use my flashette. I need to take one, then I switch and I finish him off with this. Easy. It's double cane, okay. GG. I missed. That's like ammo. Okay, this is a boss fight. Oh. No. How did the second shot didn't hit? Hit him again. Where is he? Dead. Hit him. He must be low. He must be low. Oh, I, I, okay, GG. And I can kill him. But here you can see, I could do this as well with slug ammo. Wait, you know what? Let me take slug ammo. Let me show you that you can do this even better with slug ammo. Look, there is a guy. Wait. Oh no. Tag him. He's not bleeding, but he's like 1 HP. Oh, wrong gun. Wrong gun, man. He's using flashette. Oh no. Okay, you good? Okay, I'm not even scared to fight this guy, because I know he's playing flashette, so if I get close, I'm good. I need height, okay. Look, no problem. His teammate? Okay, that was bad. He's running as well. Do you think that's issue? No. Ah, man. You think easy shots here? Okay. Well, if you don't have good aim, you can still suck at Flashhead, I guess. GG. Yes, Flashhead has its own place in the game. But I think it wouldn't hurt if they increase the damage, or if they make it possible to one tap up to like 7 meters, 6 meters. Something like Dragon's Breath. Also, keep in mind that Flashhead is more supportive ammo type, and therefore it's better in teams. As a solo, it can be fun, but yeah, slug ammo is still better.